Martin, what is Fermi's last theorem? Well, in the middle of the 17th century, a guy called Pierre de Fermi uh, proposed a, a theory which uh, he didn't prove, or he didn't provide the proof of it. But before I need to, before I talk about that, I need to talk about Pythagoras' theorem, which I guess most people will know. If you have a right angle triangle um, with sides A, B, and C, and C is the hypotenuse, the opposite to the right angle, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's Pythagoras' theorem. I guess most people know that. Now, it turns out there are integer solutions to that. So if A and B are 3 and 4, and C is 5, it all works out. So 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. So 9 plus 16 equals 25. So it's a, a solution. There are lots of them. In fact, there's an infinite number of them. Uh, another one is 12, 5 and 13. So 12 squared is 144. Uh, 5 squared is 25 and 13 squared is 169. So 144 plus 25 is 169. So 12, 5 and 13 are solutions to a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, what Fermi said was that there are no integer solutions to that equation when the power, so in Pythagoras' theorem, the power is 2, a squared, b squared, c squared. If the power that those things are raised to is more than 2. So, um, a cubed plus b cubed equals c cubed. Is there an integer solution to it? And Fermi said no. And the same with a to the power 4 plus b to the power floor uh, equals c to the power floor and so on. Power 4 and so on. So he stated that. He said, well, it works with the squares, but it doesn't work with the cubes or to the power 4 or to the power 5 or to the power 6 or anything. But he didn't prove it. He, he actually said in his notebook, um, I have a proof for this, but uh, there's not enough room here to state it. So that was his theorem. And for centuries, literally centuries, very prominent and eminent mathematicians tried to show that there is indeed no integer solution to a, a cubed plus b cubed equals c cubed. Um, and then, I think it was about 20 years ago, it might be longer than that now, but anyway, thereabouts, a guy called Andrew Wiles, I think his name was, at um, Cambridge University, proved it. He proved that indeed there are no integer solutions to a cubed plus b cubed equals c, c cubed, or um, to any power greater than 2. At first, uh, his proof was flawed, but eventually the flaws were ironed out. And so it stands today that that Fermi's last theorem has been proved to be true. Now, it's interesting that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is Pythagoras' theorem, there is a formula to work out all the integer solutions to that. It's not particularly difficult, but, you know, I can't really cover it on here. Um, so, one of the most troubling uh, mathematical puzzles has been solved by this guy called Andrew Wiles and uh, his effort was so great to prove it that in the interview with him he actually started to cry because he'd been so involved in it it had been such an effort and it involved very very modern and advanced mathematics so whether Fermi actually had a proof is up for debate 
But anyway, Fermi's last theorem. There is no solution to a to the cubed plus b to the cubed uh, equals c to the cubed or any other power other than 2. And Andrew Wiles proved it.